Welcome back, you beautiful souls. It's Monday and we are celebrating with some of our local champions. And we're talking about the 2021 Artistic Swimming Duo National Champions. It's Laura Strugnell and Clarissa Johnston. And they've just qualified to represent South Africa at the Tokyo Olympics this year. I'm so excited to chat to these champions. And they're the first synchronized swimming pair to represent the country in over 29 years. Now, over the past 18 months, they have come out of retirement, balanced full-time jobs with training and faced challenges brought on by COVID-19 and they've successfully overcome it all and will be heading to Japan for the global showpiece. Now Clarissa and Laura are joining us via video call to tell us more about their journey to the Olympics. Ladies are you with us? Are you live? Hi! Yes. I gotta say before we do anything the biggest round of applause ever from everybody in the crew. Congratulations! <laughs> We're going to the Olympics! <laughs> now, before we get into it, because I don't know if I'm more hyped than you guys, I don't know how you feel, but I want to just take it back to the beginning. How did you guys get into synchronized swimming and how long have you actually been doing this for? Um, so, my name is Clarissa. I started when I was 11 um, at my new school, Durban Girls College, where my family moved there. And then I studied in the US and did it there. And then I stopped when I was about 24. And I thought I was done forever until Laura literally WhatsApped me last year. And she was like, hey, what would you say if I told you we can go to the Olympics? And that was when I was almost 30. So <laughs> that's my story. <laughs> and hi, I'm Laura. Uh, I started when I was five and then I started competing when I was six. And I've been doing it ever since until 2019 then i thought we they weren't sending a duet to the olympics so i decided to carry on with my career and then found out that they were and called clarissa and was like let's go to the olympics <laughs> <laughs> i absolutely love that now look it's one thing trying to prepare yourself for the olympics i mean people spend four years maybe eight years preparing for this moment making so many sacrifices and it means so much. But for you guys, what has this training journey been like? I mean, over the last 18 months, choosing to firstly come out of retirement, number one, and then spending hundreds, potentially thousands of hours in the pool. Talk us through this process, because it's not as easy as it even sounds. No, that's, that's so true. So um, I think my body was completely confused when I got back in the pool. I think it was like, I thought we were done with this. Um, <laughs> Then obviously, as soon as we started last year in Feb, there was the hard lockdown. So our training journey has been a super wide spectrum of stuff from Zoom ballet, Zoom Pilates, then eventually getting back in the pool, um, flying back and forth from Cape Town and Johannesburg, where our coach was in Johannesburg. We've now relocated to live with her and her family. Um, and then, yeah, our training itself is like six hours a day. So it's a large volume of training, that type of sport, very similar to like a triathlon or Ironman. Yeah, it, it's really crazy to me because you're not just swimming in the pool. I mean, like you mentioned now, you've got Pilates, yoga, mobility, strength, conditioning. It's like 500 multifaceted sports put into one, and then you need to go and perform to perfection. So that being yeah. said, right, talk us through this qualification, the 2020 Tokyo Olympic qualification. How does this feel? I mean, for, for so many people, this is such a huge dream, something that genuinely never materializes. And for the small percentage of people in the world, for you guys especially, not only doing this, but also for the first time as a swimming pair to represent South Africa in 29 years Ooh. in this discipline. I mean, this is huge, guys. Everyone in the studio is like, what? <laughs> this is just, what is this feeling even like? I mean, this is your moment to share it because we all just want to know, what does this mean to you both? Um... I think it's it's still a little bit unreal. I think until we get there, it's gonna feel real. And especially with all the uncertainty of COVID, it's been a bit difficult, but for our sport, it means it's huge. I mean, I think you guys didn't really know that there was synchronized swimming in South Africa. A lot of people haven't known that there is this um, sport. And yeah, I think we're just like, we're really stoked. <laughs> Yeah, it's really important as well. Like, I mean, we are 29 and 30, so we spent our whole lives not seeing anyone from our country go to the Olympics for the sport we did. So it's really important for future generations for them to see the South African flag on the TV and say, well, if someone from my country did it, then I can also do it. 
Uh, I love that. There's no excuse whatsoever. Even if you're coming out of retirement, no matter what age you are, you can still live that dream. And you guys are doing exactly that. Now, this is, like we said, not an easy task. I imagine, obviously, we're speaking about these sacrifices you've made along the way. COVID-19 has presented so many obstacles. Who's been the people in your corner that have gotten you to this point? Because I know this is really something that you can't always do on your own. You need a massive team behind you. Who are those people in your lives that have helped you get to this point? Sure. There's so many. I'm scared if we list them individually, we'll forget some. But <laughs> definitely um, our coach and her family, the drink waters. I mean, we live with them. We're in their, their daughter's ballet studio right now. Um, we've had a lot a lot of other extra coaches um, that have helped us on the side as well in Cape Town, coaches from overseas, from other countries who've just seen our journey and have literally said, like, how can we help you? Um, and then, of course, our friends and family as well. Um, you know, just being there when things are difficult or supporting us, being excited. It's been tough. They won't be, no one will be able to come to Tokyo and they weren't able to come to our qualifier um, in the Eastern Cape. But I mean, that's what's so great about like Instagram and the internet. People have still been able to live our journey with us virtually. Yeah, and I mean, we get the blessed opportunity of chatting to you guys like right now and sharing this with them, Zanzi. Well, look, ladies, I, I just want to say again, from everybody out in the studio, congratulations. I mean, honestly, I don't even think that word can really encompass what this means, but I want to say thank you for doing you, for putting all that God-given talent that you've been blessed with to create something magic like this and for also inspiring the rest of them, Zanzi. I think there's going to be so many girls and boys out there that look at you guys and realize we can do this. This is possible, especially after what we've just come through. You guys have literally painted the picture of what is possible. So thank you for being you and congratulations once again, ladies. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. <laughs> oh, these women are an absolute inspiration. Now we've got so much more inspiration coming at you right after this and uh, you do not want to go anywhere. We're celebrating champions. Stick around. <laughs>